I uh, first picked up the guitar, I would say freshman year of high school. And back then I was probably just playing uh, Blink-182 songs really poorly. And uh, eventually kind of worked my way to learning the chords and um, yeah, I just took off from there. I didn't start actually writing songs until college, but first started playing the guitar in high school. Fifth grade, I uh, joined the band, the school band, and uh, the only the only instrument I could see taking me to a rock band was drums, because they obviously didn't have guitar or bass or anything in the, in the school band. So I played the drums, and uh, it was just like the snare drum, and then took that to uh, the drum set eventually, and then um, yeah, I mean, so and then the jazz band too. So music was always kind of a part of uh, my uh, school life. Uh, and then again in high school I was playing the guitar poorly and the drums semi-well and eventually kind of um, got into a, like a garage band type thing called Not A Chance and uh, that was fun and it was a learning experience and uh, that kind of made me realize that I wanted to uh, sing and play guitar and write my own songs. My dad was my dad was in a couple uh, cover bands, and I grew up watching him go to uh, you know going to his concerts and everything. So um, I was just like blown away by that. So I knew very early on that the, like instrument was the way to go for me. So I would say my biggest music influence is um, John Mayer, probably. It's like at a time when I was listening to Blink 182 and a lot of pop punk, I started to get into the John Mayer thing. It was like I started to like you know learn his songs on guitar and start to play those like strange chord shapes, I would say I'm heavily influenced uh, guitar style. Songwriting, um, I don't even... It's, it's so hard to pinpoint. I feel like I have a little bit of Fall Out Boy. Like if you listen to my album, you wouldn't think it sounds like Fall Out Boy or anything, but like that was, a, 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 like, as far as like melodic sensibility and stuff, like I feel like I learned a lot from listening to like Fall Out Boy, Rufus Wainwright, uh, Ryan Adams. I love Hanson. I listen like seriously, like <laughs> I know. So serious like in nineteen ninety seven, like when Mbop came out, and I was just a kid and I thought that was like the greatest thing in the world, you know what I mean? And I just like quietly followed them, you know, as they got older. And seriously, they don't get enough credit. Like dude, they're so good. Around last winter I came to a point where I was like, I think I have like six songs that are solid enough to put on a record. That album was like, all right, let's do this. You know what I mean? I think it was, I wrote the song Need to Be Loved, which was the single off the album. And when I wrote that, I was like, all right, it's go time. Let's do this, you know? Like, this is the final piece I needed to make this album happen. And, you know, it was I thought it was catchy enough to, like, lead, you know what I mean? Get people's, you know, pique people's interest, I guess. Um, and, I mean, the response had been great, you know? It's all, the first test is always my mom. If my mom likes it, because she's a very harsh critic. If, if the song's not good enough, she'll just flat out tell me. She's like, Johnny, it's missing something. Whatever. And then when she heard that song, she was like, all right, you know, it's, it's, it's really good. So that was, that was big for me. And um, I, w I think it might be, hey, it's, it's like a couple songs, but the one that's coming to mind right now is Hey Love, which is the last song on the album. And the whole album is kind of about like 
struggles, whether it be in love or growing up. And um, Hey Love is kind of like the summary of all of it and kind of like, you know, this whole idea of love and needing someone or trying to find someone, it's just like, I'm done. I, this is like too much, you know, the, the struggles and everything, it's just such a pain in the ass. That, uh, hey Love is just kind of like my last like cry, like, it's like, show me something now or this, this is over. Um, the upcoming album. So, um, I have like an, okay, so the new album I would say is leaning toward a more like alt country vibe. A lot of songs have it like kind of two step, like the and um, that uh, a song, probably my favorite song that I've written is called Marry Me. And it's all about like, I just like am like infamous for like falling too quickly, too hard. And it's like that idea just exaggerated. So it's like, it could be this girl that I just met, you know, the night of, and I'm just like married right now. You know what I mean? That's kind of what the song is about, just moving too fast. And uh, that's going to be, that's the song that is the same way that Need to Be Loved was for Perfect Sense to me. That's the song that's like kind of kicking off this album. And um, I, I, I think it's, uh, I'm, I'm very excited about it. I started recording it like a month ago, and um, it's going to be a slow process. I'm going to take my time with it. And really, like, as uh, Perfect Sense to me was just kind of very bare bones, acoustic, with maybe a little drums and bass added, this is going to be more of an entire band feel. Just hopefully uh, bigger production throughout. Um, but yeah, that song, Mary Me, I'm very excited about that. Honestly, like, when I write a song, like, every song I write is to, like, get, like, satisfy an emotion that I'm feeling. Like, sometimes it's like the only remedy. Like, I could feel so shitty about a situation, and then like, I'll, you know, I can write a song about it and be like, it's kind of like freezing it in time, you know what I mean, and just having it, you know what I mean? It's, it's really, it's a really therapeutic way for me to move on from situations. Makes sense to me.